Hello fellow Peanuts fans, I'm Karen from CollectPeanuts.com. Has this ever happened to you? You're shopping and you find an item and it says 1958 on it, but you know that's not from 1958. Snoopy's nose is way too round. They didn't make these puzzles in 1958 for the Peanuts gang. What's going on? You can see why the dealer would think this is from 1958. It clearly says 1958 on there. Well, it also says 1965. So why are they promoting this as a 1958 item? Because obviously they wouldn't have made something with 1965 on it in 1958. So that that's a little odd, but this isn't from 1965 either. This is from 1980. The reason I know is because I have this guidebook and this helps me determine exactly when items are from. And you can also go online, look at old catalogs, like Sears catalogs, and you can see in there exactly when things came out. You might have to do a little bit of digging, a little bit of inferring, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> So what's going on with all these copyright dates that aren't the year of manufacture? Well, basically they copyrighted the character and that's the date that gets printed on, on an item. At times, they just use the manufacturing date. It's very confusing. I don't know why they did it that way, but that's how it is. So that's what we got to deal with. And that's what we got to figure out today. Some of the common dates you'll see is Charlie Brown will say 1950. That's the year he came out. Uh, Lucy and Linus will say 1952 because that's when their copyrighted form came out. Schroeder will say 1951. Woodstock says 1965 and 1972. There's a bunch of dates out there and I do have a listing of those common dates on collectpeanuts.com. There's a link in the description down below. All right, let's look at some items and help you try and figure out when items are from and corroborate what I'm talking about. First up, we've got this 1973 Mother's Day plate. Let's take a look inside. This is a great example of when the date matches because this plate is obviously from 1973. And on the back here, you can see the copyright says 1973. Now let's travel forward in time just two years to 1975. Obviously this plate is from 1975. No doubt about it. Why would they make it any earlier? But on the back, you can see they say 1952 and 1958. So Lucy is 52, Snoopy is 58. So you can see why that would be very confusing for Peanuts fans, dealers, just about everybody. <laughs> Let's look at some other examples of how to tell the date of things. Here's an easy one down here. Now here we have a Santa Rosa Senior Olympics 1979 bag. And obviously this bag would have been made in 1979. No doubt about that. Again, we can see at the bottom, it says 1958 on there. So this is an easy one to tell exactly when it was made. But let's look at something a little bit more difficult. Here we have Rap Beagle and and wrap Woodstock. <laughs> now, I probably don't need to tell you when these were made. It's it's pretty obvious that these are uh, probably late 80s, early 90s. I mean, the, the flashy neon colors, these uh, motifs that just remind you of hammer pants. Any, anybody else get hammer pants vibes from these? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Hip hop was becoming mainstream. So it didn't seem so weird to put Snoopy and Woodstock in a rap beagle persona. And on these tags, we have Woodstock 1965-1972. This is made by Applause. And on Snoopy here we have 1958 and 1968. Uh, I believe Snoopy's plush persona was copyrighted in 1960, 
eight and that's why Snoopy plushes tend to say 1968 on them. Here's another great example. This is a plush made by Determined and you can see that it says McDonald's on there. So this is a really good way to look something up. <laughs> this is a really easy example. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grant you that, easy, easy. And on the tag we have 1968. But if we look up online and look at old McDonald's commercials, we can clearly see that this is the uniform from about 1989. So that really gives us a good indication of when this Snoopy was made. And he did come with this uniform, just so you know. It is sewn to his head. <laughs> and there's many examples of this. So it's not some fantasy piece, just so you know. Now, Rat Eagle, that's easy to figure out. What are you supposed to do when it's something kind of generic? What do you do then? Let's take a look around the Snoopy room. Here we have a great example. We have a poster here from the 90s. Share your enthusiasm. And we also have a Hallmark plaque. Now, what we're looking at here is how different Snoopy looks between these two pieces. This plaque is from 1971. And just so you know, Springbok is part of Hallmark. So that's why it says Springbok on it. And this poster here, you can see some of the details. Up here, you can see the Peanuts character copyright, and also the text copyright year. At the very top of this poster, you can see it says August 1st, 1994. So obviously this poster is from 94, and this plaque is obviously from 1971. And you can definitely see the difference between Snoopy's nose. Later Snoopy's noses, he's very rounded almost like a big, kind of like an egg. Whereas the older Snoopies, his, his nose tends to be a little bit longer, you know, more shapely. He just, like all of us, you know, fills out over the years. <laughs> I know how that is. And you can see Charles Schultz started drawing the feet a lot different. Uh, the, the hands are a lot different. So there's little things like that where obviously they're both Snoopy, but he has changed quite a bit over the years. Let's take a look at some Lucy dolls through the years. This is a 1958 Lucy Hungerford doll. And on the bottom of her foot, copyright United Feature Syndicate. And United Feature Syndicate is just who distributed peanuts and own the license to the Peanuts characters at the time. So from 1958, we move to 1966 to this Lucy Pocket doll, very classic. This tag doesn't tell you anything, <laughs> which is very surprising. But on the bottom of her foot, it says United Feature Syndicate 1966. Moving on to 1970, we have this Lucy Ragdoll. This is by Simon Simple. And you can see the tag on her. 1970 by United Feature Syndicate. Now to the early 1980s, we have this Lucy doll. This is by Determined Productions. Lucy's come a long way since her 1958 incarnation. And on her tag, we can see that it is now the copyright dates of the character again. We have this Lucy doll. She is from 1990. And the way we can definitely tell that is she has this logo on her stand for the 40 years of happiness. That is the 40th anniversary of the Peanuts comic strip. This doll was made by Applause. Let's look at her tag. So again, you can see it says 1952 United Features Syndicate. Next, we have this Lucy doll by Gemi. This came out in 1998. You can see that on the back of this hang tag. And on her tag, it says Peanuts, copyright, United Features Syndicate. 
1994, it was no longer required to have the copyright date. Next, we have a Christmas Lucy. This one is from Hallmark. And you can see that it says 50 years of a Charlie Brown Christmas. So that tells you what year this is from. Is that 2015? And for the take, you can see that it says Hallmark copyright Peanuts Worldwide. And in 2010, Peanuts was sold. And now instead of saying copyright United Feature Syndicate, it now says copyright Peanuts Worldwide. Another good indication of when something came out are the characters being used. So for instance, this one uses Belle, and Belle did not come out until 1976. And for some odd reason, they're using 1958, 1965 on this, which does not include Belle's date, which I find is weird, but okay. <laughs> Sometimes they do get those dates wrong, and that's why you, you just don't trust them. You gotta trust your instincts. Now this kit definitely seems like a 1980s item uh, based on other items I've seen. Also, Belle had her heyday in the early 1980s when there were dolls and all sorts of other memorabilia items with Belle on it. Now, just because an item has an older looking Snoopy on it, very vintage, very lovely, doesn't mean it's not necessarily an older item. For instance, this one is brand spankin' new. Before the strip ended in the year 2000, artwork was rotated out. When it was five years old, it was no longer used for memorabilia. After the strip was discontinued, you'll find multiple eras of Peanuts artwork on new memorabilia. Here's another example of a character with a very specific start date. As you can tell, Flash Beagle goes along with the movie Flash Dance. So it's a very definite 1980s character, but these dates at the bottom are definitely much older than when Flash Dance came out. As this says 1956 and 1958 on it. It's a weird one. <laughs> and this piece is by Hallmark. So as you can see, there's a lot of nuance to Peanuts copyright dates. If the date is after 1994, you can probably believe it. If it's pre-1994, then you need to give it just that logic check. Just look at an item, see, like, does it seem like it would be from 1952? And the answer is always no, it's not from 1952, it's not from 1950. Um, unless it looks like this, it's not gonna be from 1958. So give it that gut check. If it's a single date, maybe you can believe it, but if it's multiple dates, then it's obviously a character copyright. If you want more information on the subject, there's an article on collectpeanuts.com that you can read and you can learn all of the copyright dates for all of the characters. So you can know when you're looking at a character copyright date and not a manufacturing year date. Thanks for joining us here today. If you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful at all, be sure to give it a like and, you know, maybe share it out with any of your vintage dealer friends. They definitely need to know that there's more to Peanuts dates than meets the eye sometimes. It trips a lot of people up and if you're one of them, it's okay. Everybody does it. <laughs> it's okay. It happens all the time. We're used to it. So like, subscribe, share, and if you can do a little bit more, join us on patreon.com where I do lots of research on peanuts items and lots of videos, photos, and that's what you'll be supporting if you join us on patreon.com. There's a link in the description down below. And of course, come join us on collectpeanuts.com where you can see photos of my collection, articles on collecting peanuts, and you can also buy stuff for your own collection because I have lots of doubles that need good homes. Happy collecting, everyone. Bye. Oh, now I gotta find <laughs> where I pulled you all out from. It's the cleanup that's the most. <laughs>